Assalamu alaikum. Our lecture today is anti-anginal drugs. As you know, from its name, anti-anginal drugs means drugs that you use to treat angina and to relieve the anginal pain. And the anginal pain is arise from the angina, stable angina, and stable angina, and myocardial infarction. So, coronary artery disease may present in different forms, such as angina bacteria, acute coronary syndromes, arrhythmias, shortage of breath, and other presentations. These are the uh, main presentations of coronary artery disease. What about angina pectoris? Diffusion of angina pectoris or angina pectoris is characteristic, sudden, severe, pressing chest pain radiating to the neck, jaw, back, and arms. This is the characteristics of angina pectoris. Means sudden, severe, pressing chest pain. So angina pectoris is a chest pain. And what is the characteristics of this chest pain? A sudden, severe, pressing, radiating to the neck, jaw, back, and arm. It is caused by coronary blood flow that is insufficient to meet the oxygen demands of the myocardium, leading to the ischemia of the myocardium. When the ischemia is happening, this will lead to the angina pectoris, which is the anginal chest pain. So, the imbalance between oxygen delivery and utilization may result during exertion, may result from a spasm of the vascular smooth muscle, or may result from obstruction of the blood vessel caused by atherosclerotic lesions. So we have, there are three causes of imbalance, imbalance between oxygen delivery and utilization during exertion. This is the first one from spasm of the vascular smooth muscle. This is the second one. Third, from obstruction of blood vessel, caused by what? By atherosclerotic lesion. So these transit episodes, about 15 seconds to 15 minutes of myocardial ischemia, do not cause severe death, such as occurs in myocardial function. Chronic ischemia may lead to deteriorations of the cardiac function, leading in turn to heart failures, arrhythmias, and sudden death. This is a complications of the chronic ischemia. Might be heart failure, might be arrhythmias, might even death. We have three classes of drugs used either alone or in combinations and are commonly used in treating patients with this angina. So we have three classes of drugs either used alone or in combination in the treatment of the angina. These are third organic nitrates, second beta blockers, third calcium channel blockers. So we will start with a organic nitrates. <coughs> organic nitrates and nitrites used in the treatment of angina pectoris are single nitric and nitrous acid esters of glycerol. They differ in their volatility. For example, isozorbide dinitrate and isozorbide mononitrate are solid at room temperature. Nitroglycerin is only moderately volatile and amyl nitrite is extremely volatile. So amyl nitrite is volatile while the nitroglycerin moderately volatile one the isozorbide dinitrate and isozorbide monitrate are solid out of terms. This is the differences in their uh, volatility. Clear? These compounds cause a rapid reduction in myocardial oxygen demand followed by rapid relief of the system. These drugs cause a rapid reduction in myocardial oxygen demand followed by rapid relief of the system. They are effective in stable and unstable angina as well as invariant angina pectoris. These are the types of angina. As you know, as you, you know, or we will discuss, or we will study in the uh, next year, 
type of angina. We have stable angina, unstable angina, and variant angina vectors. So what about mechanism of action of nitrate? First, nitrates inhibit coronary vasoconstrictions or spasm. So increasing perfusion of the myocardium are thus relieving vasospastic angina. This is the first mechanism. Second mechanism, relax the veins and by this action lead to the veodilatation or veodilation, decreasing the preload and myocardial oxygen consumption. And because of this action, nitrates are effective in treating effort-induced angina, which is called classic angina. So the second mechanism is veodilation. Third mechanism, relax vascular smooth muscle by their intracellular conversions of nitrous ions, ni ni nitrite ions and then to nitric oxide which in turn activate guanate cyclase and increase the cell cyclic guanosine monophosphate CGMP. Elevation of CGMP ultimately lead to phosphorylations of the myosin light change resulting in vascular smooth muscle relaxation. So the third mechanism is a smooth muscle relaxation by this mechanism. So first mechanism is inhibition of coronary vasoconstriction or spasm and increased perfusion of the myocardium. Second, veno dilation. Third, relaxation of smooth muscle, vascular smooth muscle relaxation. So when we administer nitrates, we lead to the increased nitrites, this will lead to increased nitrous oxide, this in turn lead to the increased second GMP and by uh, deforce relations of myosin light chain due to the vascular smooth muscle relaxation. This is one of the mechanisms of the uh, <coughs> nitrate. Effect on cardiovascular muscle, all of these agents are effective but they differ in their onset of action and rate of elimination. For pump relief, of an ongoing attacks of angina, respect by exercise or emotional stress, sublingual or spray from natural glycerin is the drug of choice. Amma tatilisan or bakhach, you are sublingual or spray. Then, after aromatic doses, natural glycerin has two major effects. First, it causes dilations of the large veins, resulting in pooling of the blood in the veins, and this will lead to the what reduce the work of the heart by what by diminishing the preload. I mean venous return to the heart. Diminish venous return to the heart and this of course will lead to the reduce, reduction of the work of the heart. Second effect at therapeutic doses, nitroglycerin dilates the coronary vasculature and providing an increase of blood, blood supply to the heart muscle. And then dilates the coronary vasculatures or coronary arteries. So nitroglycerin decreases my cardiac consumption because of decreased cardiac work. So because of decreased cardiac work, because of increased blood blood supply to the heart muscle, because of the pulling of the blood veins, lead to the lead, this, this lead to the relief of the angina and increased oxygen demand to the myocardium. What about pharmacokinetics? At time of onset of action. Varies from one minute to nitroglycerin to more than one hour for isozorbide more nitrate. Significant first pass metabolism of nitroglycerin occurs in the liver. So therefore, it is common to take the drugs either stumbling on or via a transdermal patch, let's go, thereby avoiding this route of the elimination. This is what's called first pass metabolism. Why? <coughs> no, why we give the nitroglycerin stumbling on? to avoid the first pass metabolism and to increase the bioavailability in the blood. As a zorbide monitor, it is its improved bioavailability and low duration of action to its stability against the hepatic breakdown. It is avoided or it is withstand or resist the hepatic breakdown and this will lead to the improved bioavailability of this isozorbide monitor. Oral isozorbide dinitrate undergoes denitrations to two more nitrates, both of which possess anti -angine. So the metabolite, again, possess anti activity. Side effect, the first side effect is headache, and the most common adverse effect of nitroglycerin, as well as of the other nitrates. And from 30 to 60% of patients receiving intermittent nitrate therapy with long-acting agent develop headache, which is 
uh, characterized by tropic headache. So the first characteristic because of vas dilatation or vein dilatation will lead to the uh, headaches in about 30 to 60 percent of patients. Second, postural hypotension. High doses of organic nitrates can also cause postural hypotension, facial blushing, flushing, and the cardiac as a reflex to the hypotension. So, phosphodiesterase B inhibitors such as sildenafil, uh, tardenafil, and vardenafil both shape the action of nitrate. So, you have to have avoid these uh, drugs uh, when giving with uh, nitrate because the nitrate will lead, will lead to a more hypotension and might lead to the death when give a, a phosphodiesterase inhibitor with nitrate. To preclude the dangerous hypotension that may occur, this combination is contraindicated. So to have to have, uh, uh, you have a question, uh, somebody asks you why the nitrate and phosphodiesterase inhibitor uh, combination is contraindicated because it augment the potential action of nitrate and augment the hypotension. Other side effect is uh, uh, tolerance. Tolerance to the action of nitrates develops rapidly. The blood vessels become desensitized to vasodilatation. And tolerance can be overcome by what? A daily nitrate free interval to restore sensitivity to the drug. Young men on the top of the nitrate for a long time, so they know the action, the tolerance action is that of slow. And then it can increase the level of the drug. لفعالية أو لعمل الدواء النايتريت حتى نجنب هذه إنه بروفايد أدوية نايتريت فري إنتاج يعني ننطي استراحة to restore sensitivity حتى نسترجع sensitivity of the drug this interval is typical 10 to 12 hours usually at night and because demand on the heart is decreased at that time nitroglycerin patches are worn for 12 hours they are removed for 12 hours أما إنه Avoiding the giving the drugs at the night because at the night the oxygen demand is decreased, no need for uh, nitrate, or by what? By using patches, يعني let's get warm till till يعني for 12 hours. They are removed after 12 hours. يعني تخلي بعد ساعة شيء بعد ساعة. However, variant angina worsen early in the morning. Perhaps due to the circadian catecholamine surge. Why in the angina or that angina in the morning is that angina is weak due to the catecholamine surge. Therefore, the nitrate free interval in this patient should occur in the late afternoon. A patient who continues to have angina despite nitrate therapy may benefit from addition of another classes of agent. Second type of antangina beta blockers, and we discuss in the previous lectures in details. For example, propranolol. Uh, ومتابولول and اتينولول. other anti-angina drugs is the calcium channel blockers. example عندنا انه النايفيديبين might lead to the cardiac هو عندنا اكثر شيء هو ال ال الفيرابامين و الدلتيازين. thank you very much.